Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a highly requested video, which is a filming setup tour and also how I film my videos. I was debating on how I would do this video and I asked you guys on Snapchat. So if you are on my Snapchat, then you guys know that I asked you guys if you would prefer something more informative that would tell you, you know, exactly what I'm using, what camera I'm using, what microphone I'm using, what uh, lights I'm using, or if you just wanted like a little mini tour of my space where I'm filming. So I decided to kind of combine the two because I was like, uh, some of you guys said um, most of them were for the informative one, but then I also got some that were for like little tours. So I was like, I don't want to not do one. You know, I prefer just to do both, give you a little bit of everything. So that way you can get best of both worlds. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is my microphone and my camera because I am going to be using that in a little bit to show you the space and I won't be able to show you the product in front of you. So still like um, I was still messing with the camera settings and I think this is pretty good like I like the way that it looks so I'll tell you what my camera settings are right now too so you can get an idea and if you have this camera or you have one similar you can kind of adjust it if you like the way that you see it but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first thing that I want to talk about which is the very first camera that I started using. So I want to show you the first camera that I started using because I recently started using this one. So if you still liked the quality of the other ones, which I did, you know, they're fine. I liked them, but I want to show you the camera that I was using. So this one is the bag that I have it in, and I got this bag actually for Christmas from my sister. But anyways, I'm going to show you the camera that I had, which was the Canon T3i. And this is the way that it looks. I do love this camera. I got it for Christmas for my husband whenever I first started making YouTube videos. And I really, really wanted it. I remember really wanting it because I wanted to start YouTube and I wanted a camera for it and I wanted my own little thing. But I actually bought it a little bit before I started YouTube, but I knew I wanted to do YouTube videos. My camera is like counting down. Why are you counting down? Maybe I don't have any more memory. You need memory cards if you want to make YouTube videos. Okay, I don't know, it's just counting down. But anyways, this is the one that I had and this is the original lens that it comes with. Okay, and I bought this one at Best Buy. And the reason why I got it was because at the time I was doing photography classes in college and not only photography, but I was also taking video classes and all my broadcast um, classes and all that, which gets me to why I already had a camera. It's because you guys don't know this. I don't think I've ever told you this. I went to school for communications broadcast journalism, and that is why I was already like a little video picture fanatic type. So yes, if you didn't know that, which you didn't because I've never told you, but that's why. So anyways, this is the camera that I used to have. And then I started YouTube right after I got the camera, like not too long after, or did I get it after? Hmm. Now I don't even remember, but that doesn't even matter. This is the Canon T3i, which I believe is a great starter camera. It gives you the options to like manually do things if you want to change some things around and it gives you some options. Whenever you just have a regular point and shoot, it's kind of like an automatic type of camera. And I think you can do like some minimal moving around in there, but not too much to where you can customize it. I think that one is around like right now, I think it's around four or five hundred dollars. And it comes most of the time with like a little baggie or something. Mine didn't at the time, but I know that sometimes they have like a little bundle thing and a tripod or something, which you're also going to need. And the camera that I have now is the Canon EOS 70D. And I just have the box for you because like I said, I'm using it so I can't show you it. But this is the way that it looks like the box. It is also a Canon. Did I say that? I think I did. But this is the one that I'm using right now. And this one, you can even get better picture. Like it's just higher quality and it's a lot better. And I'm enjoying it so, so much. It's a huge difference from the Canon T3i. Like I see the difference. I see the quality difference and I see like the colors and everything a lot better. Especially after messing with the 
um, settings in it because you do have to make sure that you're using it for your lighting or if, it, if your room is darker then you know whatever it, it just depends I don't know how to mess with all of them but I am gonna tell you the settings that I have for mine and for my lighting and you're gonna see my lighting in a little bit the microphone that I'm using is the video mic go and I remember getting so frustrated whenever I didn't have the microphone because the sound was just horrible you could hear you couldn't hear me it was like a lot of echo or it just didn't sound good and it was just like annoying and I hated it but now that I have it it is awesome like I said it's the video mic go and I guess it's called the video mic go because you don't need a battery for it all you do is you slide it in on top and you plug it in and you don't need to worry about battery life but of course if you get one with battery life it's probably gonna be higher quality and a lot better especially if you're outside like with the wind and all of that I don't really use I don't ever use the camera outside if I ever do it's probably gonna be like a outfit of the day video or an outfits video outside and I probably won't even need the microphone for that so or the sound for that so anyways that's the camera that I have and that's the microphone that I have I do have another lens and, and this one is the Canon 50 millimeter uh, lens and I like this one because it is very very close up now I like it, but I don't like it I like it because you can get very detailed in tutorials or products that you're showing But you do have to be far away from the camera So whenever I was using this one you have to also make sure you have a microphone because then you can't hear yourself but whenever I was using that lens I would have to sit like over there by a little bit uh, closer like where you see the rug where you can see the rug right there like I had to be like that far away because it's so close up it has great lighting a lot of light goes through it and you can see all the details and I remember filming like a tutorial or a review I don't remember what it was but a lot of you even told me wow the quality looks really good what camera are you using it wasn't the camera at all it was the lens and it just makes a big difference I haven't used it recently recently and I haven't used it with this camera but I'll show you the video I'll link the video below too and I'll put it up here of the video that I was using the lens with Which, by the way I just showed you the box of the lens but this one is the lens the 50 millimeter one and it is the way that it looks I mean it's nothing different than any other lens it looks like just the other ones but you can see it's just a little short that we can get an idea and maybe if you look for it on Amazon you can know the way that it looks the other thing that I do have and I would really recommend that you get to and it would be super super helpful is a little remote this one is by Canon and I still have the box I save the boxes to everything but this is the remote boxes the way that it looks this is RC6 I don't know what that means I just know that I looked for it on Amazon and I put Canon wireless remote and this is what came up uh, you can also get one from the Amazon brand but I just went with a Canon brand just because I feel and, I, and it was from the Canon store I just feel like it's a little bit more reliable but I don't know I just felt that way so I decided to go for this one but I do know that there are people that use the other one and it's fine I just prefer this one and it's great and the reason why I say I recommend it is because you can take your own pictures you don't need anybody to help you before whenever I was taking pictures without it if I would take pictures with without it because I would I would get so frustrated that I'm like you know what I'm not even gonna take any pictures because I would have to time it for like 10 seconds push the button move away from the camera pose and by the time I'm posing I have like two seconds you know I have like maybe five seconds I'm over exaggerating but I don't have that much time to pose and then go back push the button again and that was just like one picture so with this you just hide it behind you or stick it in your pocket well, if you stick it in your pocket, your hand has to be in your pocket, but I'm just saying you can hide it behind you or behind you. Whatever it is that you're going to do, you just push the button and it takes a picture for you. If you're frustrated, trying to film, you have a lot of lights, you're hot, you're not going to even want to film. Trust me, I felt like that before, like, oh, you know, I'm just annoyed and the camera's turning off and the battery's going out and you only have one and you have to charge it and all this stuff. Which brings me to something else that I did buy for this camera, which was a battery adapter or AC adapter. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to show it to you. And I don't have one for this camera, but I do have two batteries for this camera. And the adapter that I have is this one's also by Canon and all you do is just stick it in there plug it in this is like I think it was like $50 or something like that but you stick this in there you plug it in 
and you can record for as long as you need. Like it will never go out. So I used to just have this plugged in all the time. And whenever I wasn't filming, I'd just take it out so it can cool cool down. But, um, cause it does get a little hot, but it doesn't do anything to your camera. Um, they do have an adapter like this that's not the Canon brand just because I read reviews and all that stuff. And some people, which I feel like I'm gossiping, but some people did buy which I saw the reviews, that's why I'm saying that. People would buy this like from China and all that stuff and you burn your camera inside or you just ruin it. And Canon's not gonna cover that obviously because it's not their fault. So I would really recommend you get one from Canon. I don't know if they would replace your camera or have warranty on it. I don't know, I don't know how it works, but I would just say get the Canon one. I've used this one and I've used it for a long time. What I mean is like for like 40 minutes or whatever it is that I need to record if i'm going to do one video if i'm going to do two videos it lasts me that long and i don't have to worry about changing out the battery or anything like that and of course you're going to need a memory card and i would recommend something with like 64 um, gigabytes or something like that just because you need something with a lot of space because then you're going to be running out and you have to go to your computer wait for it to export put the memory card back in and it's just, it can get a little bit time consuming and the easier that it is for you to film, the better it's going to feel and the faster that you're gonna get things done. Now I'm gonna move on to the camera settings and the reason why I wanna show you that is because I had a hard time trying to figure out um, what settings I needed for my light. I only have one umbrella light, which is on this side, and then I have a ring light. I have lights already in my room. I have four, one on each corner, and I'll show you that in a minute whenever I get to the setting, to the, to the filming setup, because my husband installed those in my room, and I also have a chandelier, which I do turn on. I turn on the chandelier, and I turn on the four lights. But I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you, I'm gonna insert a picture right here so you can see it. And you can see where I have the aperture settings, the um, shutter speed, and also the ISO. So that way you can get an idea. The ISO, I have it at 200. And um, I mean, there's different ways. It just depends on your lighting. I have the, the aperture at 5.0 and the shutter speed at 30. So you'll be able to see the settings right here. That way you don't get confused. You can compare it to yours. Just figure out how to mess with your camera. Read the manual. That way you know what to move around. If you want to, you know, take a screenshot of this picture. So that way you can look at the settings the way that I have them. And then put your camera right next to it and try to mess with your camera. Mess with the numbers and mess with each section. That's what I had to do. Because if you don't know where something is on your camera, then you, know, you have to read it first and look at the pictures that are in the manual and kind of go with that and then I had to mess with it I had my husband sit down right here where I'm at so that way I can mess with the settings because I was looking so washed out in white and I didn't like it at all I wanted it to look real like I want my skin to look like the way I really do and I want my face to look like it really does in my hair and the colors in my room I want it to look the way that it really does look I do love that whole whiteness you know but sometimes I feel like it's way too much or it's too too bright and then my face looks really washed out so now I'm gonna bring you over to this side and I'm gonna show you the ring light that I have the monitor that I'm using the umbrella lights the desk and all that stuff and I'll tell you where I got everything from too so uh, let's just go all right, so when you walk into my room, I'm sitting at the door so that way you know it's like at a little angle, but this is the way that my setup looks. I have this chair that I got from Home Goods. I'm closing the door because my dogs are gonna come inside. Um, I did move my room around. Uh, you guys, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've moved my room around because I had it different before. But anyways, I got the chair from Home Goods. I got the little bench from Home Goods the little blanket i got from ross the pillows i got from ross and um that's that <laughs> the desk is something that you guys ask me about all the time because i used to have it as my computer desk and it was behind me in my background but i got it at home goods and i believe it was like a hundred dollars and i just love it because it's clear and it makes it look spacious the only problem is right now is that you can see all the cords and I haven't fixed that up like I want to just put them all together and make it look neat but right now it just doesn't it just looks regular that I'm showing you the real thing so that is my desk like I said I got it from home goods this is a ring light that I'm using and this is the diva ring light and it is the Nova I'm gonna go ahead and go to the closet 
I'm gonna show you the box because I did save it. I've been saving this forever because I know and I knew that you guys wanted to see it. Hopefully that's in frame, but it does look like this. It's a Diva Ring Light Nova. And the umbrella light that you see right there came in a set of three. It came with two big ones like that one and then a smaller, shorter one. And I'm not using the other two. I used to use them when I didn't have all the extra lights that are on the ceiling and I'll show you that in a bit. But um, I used to use all three lights. Now I just need one coming from that corner because that corner is a little bit darker. And I'll show you what I mean. You see, it's just a little dark, so that gives me some light. And of course, the ring light, it just helps a lot with the lighting around my face for tutorials, for products and all that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the lights that I have on top. And I keep talking about the beauty makeover video because that is where you're gonna see everything that I did. And Either way, I wanted to show you the lights. So my husband installed four lights, one in each corner. You can see one right there. There's one on the other side of the chandelier, and then there's this one, and then there's one right above me. I also have this chandelier, which is beautiful. I love it. It's like my favorite thing in the room. And I was going to put white lights on it, but I decided to keep it yellow because it does warm up the room whenever I'm filming, so my, my lighting doesn't look bluish. It just like evens it out. I have all the white lights and then plus the yellow chandelier. It just helps me out with the warmth in my video. I'm taking you off of the tripod. Hopefully it's not too shaky, but this is the way that my desk looks. And what I keep on top of it always is just my cell phone. I always have it with me. And then I have this little basket where I keep just like little things. I keep the cover for my lens, an extra battery for my old camera. I also keep one in here, but it's charging for my for the other camera. I have two, two batteries for the camera. I keep a clip in there because the majority of the time, if I'm doing a tutorial, I need to pull my hair back. I have a little coaster because sometimes I bring a drink in here and my mirror that I use for makeup. So this is the window. I also use the window for lighting. Um, it's perfect. It's just perfect to film in front of a a window and like I said that is just the other area that I have around the filming the filming area so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the monitor because some of you guys ask me I do post pictures on snapchat or on Instagram and what I have is this HDMI cord and I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in and you can get that at Walmart or at Best Buy I think I got mine at Walmart and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in I'm gonna show you how the but this is how crazy it looks right now just because I'm pointing at the TV but this is the way the monitor looks and once I plug it into the monitor I can't see anything on the camera the camera is just black but I just wanted to show it to you so you can see how it looks I know a lot of people use laptops so you can use a laptop as your monitor but we had this TV from well my husband had it from ever since before we moved in together so I I now use it as my monitor and it's just a Dynex small TV. All I need to know is when I'm recording, if I'm in frame and if I'm in focus. So that was my main reason for having a big monitor. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off. But this is what you guys wanted to see. So I went ahead and just did both so you can see everything. I also have this tripod that I was using my camera on right now. And I got this one from Walmart. But this is the way my room looks. Like I said, I did move things around. Everything looks a little different now. But if you guys would like to see an updated room tour, let me know. I know my old one isn't as updated. All right, you guys, so that is it. I really, really hope that this was helpful. I know I talked a lot, but like I said, whenever I want to be informative, I am like down. I get down and dirty with the information. And I really wanted to just tell you every single thing about everything that I have. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see here on Beauty News. You will see a little red subscribe button below, but you already know that because you watch YouTube videos. And if you push that, you will just get notified every single time that I upload. And of course, you'll be part of the Beauty News family. But that's it for today. I will see you all next time. Bye.